Now in Good Morning Northwest, they are still dancing big and very different victories for the Zags and the Cougs in the first round of the NCAA tournament. We have live reports from our sports teams in Omaha and Salt Lake City. And some of us may be singing in the rain occasionally. We do have showers coming through the area. We're going to break it down for you as to what you can expect over the weekend. And a school newsletter causes controversy at a Spokane Elementary. What was in it and what parents and community members want to see happen over it? You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. So glad you're starting your day with us. I'm Robin Nance. And I am Natalie Grant, TGIF. It is Friday, March 22nd. Let's toss things over to Mark Peterson for a look at our very busy weekend ahead. Yeah, we're going to see temperatures uh, starting off mild. And we were at 42 degrees, winds to 8 miles an hour. And uh, a relatively clear sky in the corner lane, 40. We're going to see increased clouds. Uh, later on today, taking a look at the four things you need to know. Uh, light rain showers coming through the area today, hit and miss a lot like yesterday. We saw the cloud cover, but we just didn't have, again, the rain associated with it. We'll see more showers and uh, potentially heavier rains on Saturday, but it looks to be in the Palouse. Sunday, we could see uh, some light snow. We'll cover that. And of course, the wet weather coming in next week. We look at the satellite and radar, and, and there's not much to talk about in eastern Washington and north Idaho, but we do see more of that cloud cover and more of that moisture loading in from the southwest. That's where we're going to get those afternoon showers. 40 currently in downtown, 33 Deer Park, 41 into Cheney, and then over into Idaho. You're sitting around 40 degrees. Our high today, about 20 better than that. 60 with variable clouds and again, those isolated light rain showers. The road to the championship continues for several of our local college basketball teams and two of them celebrating wins last night. Alex Crescenti is following the Cougs who squeaked out a nail biter in the late game over Drake. But first, Julie Minasone is with Gonzaga in Salt Lake City where the Zags handily defeated the McNeese State Cowboys last night. The Bulldogs take on the Kansas, uh, Kansas Jayhawks in the second round tomorrow in Salt Lake City. Yeah, that's where sports director Julian Minasone is live this morning. Okay, Julian, how do you see this thing playing out. Good morning once again, Robin and Natalie. Uh, I got to say, this is going to be a coin flip. It can go either way. They're two great teams. The big matchup to look out for when this thing tips off tomorrow is the matchup in the middle between the big fellas, Gonzaga big man Graham E.K. He's been the best player on this team all season long. He had 16 points in the win over McNeese State last night. He's going to need to be big once again if they're going to get by the Jayhawks. On the other side, Kansas All-American Hunter Dickinson's been playing with a separated shoulder, but last night, you wouldn't know it. He he still had 19 points and 20 rebounds, so both players are going to have their hands full when this thing tips off. Now, Gonzaga had one of their best performances over the Cowboys last night. They hit 10 threes. Defensively, they held them to 33% shooting, and the guys afterward told me that if they play like this every single game, there's nobody in the country that can beat them. Well, Julian, you'll be covering that practice later today. What are the Bulldogs doing to prepare for the big team of the Jayhawks? Well, the preparations have already begun. I sat next to a couple Gonzaga assistant coaches during that Kansas game last night. They were taking notes, game planning already for the Jayhawks. I'm actually right around the corner here in downtown Salt Lake City from the team hotel where the Zags are getting some much needed rest because it's going to be a quick turnaround for tomorrow. As you mentioned, they're going to have a practice around 2 o'clock here in Salt Lake City later today. We're going to see how they're feeling about the matchup. They're going to be able to watch some film and give some more insight on what they see and how they can pose some problems for the Jayhawks. It's two of the best programs in the entire country, two historic programs, two of college basketball's biggest brands, and it's only a matchup that you can get in March, and it all tips off at 12:15 tomorrow here in Salt Lake City. And we can't wait mm -hmm. to see it. Thanks so much, Julian. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. And in just a bit, we'll Thank be you. also checking with Alex, who is live in Omaha with the Cougs. And Spokane hosts NCAA tournament games for the first time in eight years. It's bringing fans and from all over the country, places like Yale, Auburn, and San Diego State. We'll also be seeing volleyball crowds for Pacific Northwest Qualifier at the podium this weekend and soccer fans for a Saturday home match for the Spokane Velocity. Now with all these fans in town, downtown businesses are already getting a major boost. David's Pizza, located right by the arena, is expected to be full this morning by 9 o'clock. Owner Mark Starr says staff will be at the door to avoid any overcrowding. They'll card customers at the door and give wristbands to avoid any underage drinking. Now with such large crowds, he asks you to be patient with the staff. 
If you're coming down, please come down early. Be patient. We're going to crank this food out as fast as we can, but it's going to be busy, so be prepared to have some fun. Now, other businesses like Brick West Brewing say they're making sure that they're getting their outside patio set up to prepare for the crowds this weekend. And our Allison Martinez has much more on what you can expect going into this busy weekend, especially if you're heading out to a basketball game. It's coming up in just a little bit here on Good Morning Northwest. And at the Breaking Now desk, news that could impact the, in, that could impact rather the economy nationwide. Lawmakers are expected to vote today, right here at the Capitol, on whether to pass key government spending legislation. It comes ahead of a fast approaching shutdown deadline at the end of the day. Congress has until midnight to pass the spending bill in order to prevent parts of the government from shutting down. Yesterday, lawmakers unveiled the $1.2 trillion spending package that would fund the government through the rest of the fiscal year. The plan appears to have enough support to pass, but it's unclear when it'll be enacted. Getting it done on time might come down to the Senate, where a single senator can slow a bill's passage. Now here's some of what's in the proposed funding plan. $824.3 billion to the Department of Defense, nearly $90 billion to the Department of Homeland Security, and more than $19 billion for Customs and Border Protections. Now despite this being a bipartisan plan, many law Makers are upset that the process to strike a deal has been so difficult. I don't want a government shutdown. We're going to vote for this thing, even if it's not perfect. Enacting the budget a day or two late would affect federal employees in unfunded departments who work weekends. If it takes even longer, that would have a greater effect on federal workers, access to services, and the U.S. economy. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. A Spokane bank manager pleaded guilty to stealing more than $345,000. 27-year-old Jessica Marshall admitted embezzling cash through the bank vault, ATM, and her cash drawer. Marshall worked for the Bank of Idaho branch in downtown Spokane. Court documents showed she falsified documents to reconcile the cash. She also made fraudulent deposits into her spouse's account to show the funds were being deposited into an account. But the district attorney's office says no funds were actually ever deposited. Sentencing is June 27th. Good morning, Northwest Time is now seven minutes after six. Let's check in with Mark Peterson here for a look at our forecast. You're tracking the wet weather coming in. Yeah, now <clears throat> you're looking at a 70% to 80% chance of rain on Saturday, but that's not sustained for us. It's going to be scattered showers. The Palouse is going to see more of this rain, up to half an inch or more. Um, we're going to see the potential for, again, a little heavier showers for Saturday. Today, light showers, your full forecast coming up. The Spokane Arena has been transformed for a March Madness weekend. I'm breaking down everything you need to know if you plan on attending coming up on Good Morning Northwest. And a tough thing to see at an optical shop. A car drives into the building. The story on the other side of this commercial break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Save your green! When is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're gonna... Yeah, okay, well... Hi. For News Now and STCU recognize volunteers who make a difference in our community. Today, we honor Shauna Kennedy. Shauna lost her sister to domestic violence and is now the founder of Stop the Silence. I just couldn't look away. I want to make a difference, and my commitment is that nobody else loses their sister. Shauna is a driving force behind Stop the Silence, working tirelessly to support domestic violence victims in our community. Shauna is an ally to those who are all too often silenced by their abusers. Thanks to STCU for helping make sure volunteers count. So you want somewhere to play? We got you. A nice, relaxed stay? We got you. Want to be entertained? We got you. Want to play golf all day? We got you. Go to Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. So you're looking for something to do? We got you. Want some tasty food? We got you. Heard you want to do some shopping? We got you. The live music is always popping at the Go to Lake Casino. The Go to Lake Casino. Go to Lake Casino. The winning is just the beginning. Start living your life to the fullest by living simply in a tiny home. 
from portable cedar cabins. Less is truly more with all the amenities and comforts of a traditional home with a much smaller footprint. Each home is custom built and ready for you to move in and start enjoying the little things in life, including financial freedom. Homes from portable cedar cabins are about half the price of the competition and about a quarter of the cost of a traditional home. Contact Portable Cedar Cabins today. Your worry-free tiny home is waiting for you. Just north of Spirit Lake, Idaho on Highway 41. Why do dermatologists worldwide recommend La Roche-Posay? Effective skincare like La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer delivers double action to help repair skin's barrier and provide 48-hour hydration for healthy-looking skin. La Roche-Posay. An incredible woman's final moments. A goodbye unlike any other. A message every family needs to hear. How often do you get to do that? Save someone's life. Watch A Gift of Life, Tuesday, only on 4 News Now at 6. PB. PB and J? PB before we go. P before we go. P before we go. <laughs> huh. See you tomorrow? Yeah. Welcome back. The time is now 611. A former town clerk and city council member has been accused of stealing more than $195,000 from the town of Cusick. According to court documents, Luke Servas embezzled the money between October of 2022 and March of 2023. The indictment state, states that Servas fraudulently used the mayor's town credit card and his own town credit card to embezzle and transfer the funds from Cusick's bank account into PayPal and cryptocurrency accounts owned by Servas and his spouse. Controversy over a music flyer from Wilson Elementary at issue. Messaging considered insensitive in the Wilson Weekly Newsletter. Some parents we talked to say it was a big mistake and an unfortunate situation. Community members took part in a heated discussion Wednesday about the newsletter, which asked parents to dress students as slaves and hobos for a music program. Spokane NAACP President Lisa Gardner says there is a difference between intent and impact. But the impact, especially to the black and brown community, especially with the history of minstrel shows and blackface, that impact was a negative impact and that intention goes out the door. Parent Josie Dix says she agrees that insensitive language is in a flyer was a big mistake. I have talked to other educators in the building and I wish that our administrator would have reviewed the flyer. However, Dix wants to hear more from the music teacher and have her involved in the discussions. Spokane Public School says it cannot discuss employee matters or the music teacher's status with the school. Friday morning, 10 second takeaway on your screen right now. It's cool start, but not cold, light layers. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. We don't have the winds we had yesterday. That's really gonna help, but an afternoon shower pushing through the area. 60 our high today. Take a look at this close call yesterday afternoon. A gray Mercedes Benz drove through the window of the frame factory optical on Spokane's South Hill. Obviously, we're looking at the aftermath there. The owner told us no one was hurt, not even the driver, but it certainly gave him quite a scare. And then all of a sudden there was a huge bang and uh, a Mercedes Benz decided to park inside of our store. Or she missed the brakes and hit the gas pedal. The store is closed until Monday to undergo repairs. Oh my goodness, glad no one was hurt in that. Not kidding. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 613. An escaped maximum security inmate and his accomplice captured in southeast Idaho. Coming up a little later on Good Morning Northwest, why police think they committed murders while on the run. And right after this break, Spokane it takes center stage of the world of college basketball. Allison Martinez is live at the Spokane Arena, gearing up for some big NCAA tournament games that are happening today. She has what you need to know if you're planning to go or just be downtown. That's next. Ready to bring your dream countertop to life? At Floor and Home, you dream, we install. This month, pay no sales tax at your local Liberty Lake or Spokane Floor and Home. I'm Jonah, and I'd like to welcome you to the brand new Coeur d'Alene Nissan. You'll find the grand dealership lobby open, comfortable, and relaxing. A service center with state-of-the-art equipment committed to getting you quickly and safely back on the road. There's much more to experience. I'm inviting you to stop in and see us. We're just off Highway 95 in Coeur d'Alene. 
UFCW 2000 is building a union that fights to make sure that essential workers get better wages, respect on the job, and a safe workplace. Our union believes it's time for the employers to do the right thing and provide the kind of wages, benefits, and schedules that improve both employee services and company commitment. It's a win-win. The company has skilled workers long-term and it strengthens families and the community they live, shop, and work in. And isn't that what every American worker deserves? This is not just laundry. This is laundry that's one and done. This is the ultra-fast combo laundry machine that does both washing and drying cycles. This is revolutionizing laundry. This is GE Profile. Fred's has the GE Profile one and done laundry machine in stock and on sale for only $24.99. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. The spring rush is on to get those home remodel projects going this week at Windsor Plywood. It's time to shop, shop for wood. Upgrade your flooring with over 60 different styles and colors of vinyl plank, hardwood, or vinyl tile flooring. And if you're looking for decking, nobody has a better quality selection at Early Bird Spring Savings than the hometown pros at Windsor. Windsor Plywood. With two locations in Spokane. Nestled in the heart of North Idaho, Northwest Specialty Hospital is more than a healthcare institution. It's a beacon of patient-first values. With every interaction, you are our top priority. Together, we navigate your healthcare journey hand-in-hand, -hand, providing unwavering support. Our five-star overall rating from CMS is a reflection of our unrelenting dedication to patient care. Discover the difference a community-centered hospital can make at Northwest Specialty Hospital. Ready to bring your dream kitchen floor to life? At Floor & Home, you dream, we install. This month, pay no sales tax at your local Liberty Lake or Spokane Floor & Home. Mystiquah Casino Hotel is open. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It is 617. You're taking a live look at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. That building will be full of thousands of excited fans very, very soon because we are just hours away from the first tip off of Spokane's branch of the March Madness weekend. At 1045 this morning, the University of Alabama at Birmingham will face off against San Diego State University. But eight years since the men's March Madness tournament has been in Spokane and our Allison Martinez is live at the arena this morning to break down everything you need to know if you're planning to head out the door and head to a game. Good morning, Allison. Robin, Natalie, good morning. It is very quiet in here now, but in just hours, every single seat in this arena will be filled. It's the moment that the whole city has been counting down for. The first and second rounds of March Madness are happening right in our own backyard. Now, organizations like the Downtown Spokane Partnership and Visit Spokane are busy making sure our city is prepared for the influx of out-of-towners. We just uh, are very excited to have the national spotlight on Spokane. You can't pay for this kind of advertising. So uh, we hope that Spokane shines. Uh, we were the first city to sell out, uh, first host city to sell out of tickets. So it's a sold out crowd. It's gonna be busy this weekend and we're very excited and, and hope that we shine. If you're planning on doing anything in or around downtown Spokane this weekend, you're going to want to be prepared for a very different scene. Here's a few things to keep in mind. The Spokane Arena does have a clear bag policy. You will be limited to one clear bag, no bigger than 14 by 14 by 6 inches, or you can bring in a small clutch. When you're considering what to bring, keep in mind that there are plenty of opportunities to buy food and drinks inside. As far as parking goes, it is a busy, busy weekend. You have the Pacific Northwest Qualifier for Volleyball happening at the podium all weekend long and Spokane Velocity playing on Saturday at One Spokane. I feel like you could apply the same rules that you would apply when we have a big snowstorm and you have to get to work. Just take extra time, take it slow, be mentally prepared that it's gonna take you a little bit longer to find parking. Now, parking will also be more expensive. You might even consider carpooling or getting dropped off. 
doors officially open up to crowds at 915 this morning. If you have any questions about anything related to any sporting events happening in our city this weekend, you can head to our website, kxly.com. Reporting live in Spokane, Allison Martinez for News Now. The first city to sell out. It's amazing. So cool. So yeah. cool. And it shouldn't be surprising. We are a sports sports community, basketball community. Hooptown. Hooptown. Yeah. Hooptown USA right <laughs> here. Hooptown USA. Hey, we're going to cover some of the uh, uh, weather conditions around the country. We have so many people that have come to visit. Yes, they have. Welcome, yeah. by the way. Yes, we're going to have that coming up in just about 30 seconds. But here we go. Uh, waking up to about 40 degrees, a little cooler in Deer Park, sitting at uh, 33, and you were at 32 an hour ago. So it'll be a slow warm up. Every Everyone's going to get to around 60 degrees today. We're going to have scattered light showers today, a lot like yesterday. We just we saw the cloud cover, but we just didn't see the showers uh, really come in. An opportunity for a, a thunder shower because the front comes in. It's got some energy as we see that roll through, but chances are we won't see that. We look at what's going on. Montana picking up a little bit, but look at New England. Another round of snow coming in. This is really into the Great Lakes to the south calmer than it has been over the last couple of days. So for those of you uh, traveling in from Alabama and stuff, you've got some rain showers. They've got dry there at home. We will see a continuation of some scattered showers coming through the area for tomorrow. We're going to see a lot of the energy north of Spokane wrapping around higher elevation snows there. Schweitzer could pick up four to five inches of snow. We could see several inches of snow up to Lookout Pass as well. 60, our high today, 63 into Ritzville. Heading into the Tri-Cities or the LC Valley, about 70 degrees. We'll see temperatures cool. Sunday is sort of a big shift. We see our energy come out of the north, out of Canada. So we're going to have sort of a cooler air mass, certainly for the morning hours as uh, Monday morning we're down to 28 Sunday morning down to 34 we could see a little bit of light snow but it's going to be into those mid to upper 40s for the next several days mm -hmm. good weekend to be inside yeah mm -hmm. it's gonna be great <laughs> yeah Mark thanks so much it's now 622 the Cougs won a nail biter in the first round of the NCAA tournament last night and after the break Alex Crescenti joins us live from Omaha to break down that victory and preview their next game Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Right on time. See our huge selection of Camrys built for everyday drivers at Parker Toyota in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Gold Seal Plumbing is the only local company to offer the light ray pipelining system, which allows us to repair your pipes without digging any holes and can be done in less than a day. Our factory certified technicians use a high speed chain cleaner that grinds away obstruction. Then our no dig system pushes the liner down the pipe and within minutes, the liner is hardened, making a seamless and durable pipe that will last decades. To see the full video, go to goldsealplumbing.com slash trenchless and call Gold Seal Plumbing today. We're on our way. Hi, I'm Robert Sacre. You may know me from my basketball career. But what you don't know is, I'm a father of four, and life can get pretty chaotic. So that's why I'm getting a vasectomy in North Idaho Urology, so I can finally sit back and enjoy the madness. Vasectomy season is back. Scheduled today in North Idaho Urology. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game changer for our family. Just between friends at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center.
This weekend at Wendell Nissan, we have the deals to pass along to you. It's time to drive the deal. 2024 Pathfinder, 2.9% for 60 months. Or the 2023 Rogue, 2.9% for 72 months. Both with up to $2,500 in dealer discounts. And the Nissan Armada with up to $10,000 in discounts and great financing options. This weekend only, $500 additional on every trade-in. It's time to drive the deal. Wendell Nissan at the Y on North Division. It is just about 625 and it is the road to the championship. Four local teams playing around the country. The Eastern Washington women play in Corvallis today. The Gonzaga women on their home court tomorrow. Earlier we talked about the Zag men destroying the McNeese State Cowboys yesterday. And last night, the Washington State Cougars were looking for their first tournament win since 2008. The Cougs led by four at halftime, but Drake came out hot in the second half and at one point taking an eight-point lead. Now with four minutes to go in the game, and the game tied at 55, Drake's Kevin Overton drills the triple from the wing, giving the Bulldogs a late lead. But the Cougs didn't panic. With under two minutes to play, it's Isaiah Watts with the biggest shot of his life to put the Cougs on top, and they go on to win it 66-61. to I kind of wanted to see that shot. Shot, darn it. Uh, Alex Crisenti live in Omaha. Alex, uh, like they have all season, the Cougs finding a way to win a tough game down the stretch. Yeah, that was just an unbelievable atmosphere to be part of last night, guys. That was incredible. Yeah, like you said, the Cougs down eight with less than seven minutes left in the game. A lot of teams might have just rolled over, and that would have been the end of it. But no, these cardiac Cougs, they just refuse to quit and go home, and they are moving on to the round of 32. But hey, let's not sugarcoat it. That was not a great game in particular. 13 turnovers in total. They just couldn't get a shot to go down for a lot of the second half, and the they're going to need to perform a lot better if they want to advance to the Sweet 16. But when they needed the biggest shots in the game, their biggest players came up time after time. Let's talk about Isaiah Jones, or Isaac uh, Jones, I should say. Uh, he uh, has the first triple or double double in Washington State NCAA tournament history: 20 points, 11 rebounds. Jalen Wells added 17 points of his own. He came up with some pretty big shots, and Isaiah Watts, the 18-year-old from Seattle, came up with the biggest shot of his career. Like you said, that go-ahead three uh, with less than uh, two minutes to go gave the Cougs the lead for good and uh, needless to say I don't think any of these players are forgetting this game for the rest of their lives just grit and determination um, yeah! we prepared <laughs> we prepared um, and we just executed that's really all it was our coaches did a great job with the scout uh, you know I got great teammates man and we just pulled it out man grit we, we stay resilient throughout the game uh, it wasn't a great game for us obviously we had 13 turn turnovers uh, we didn't play great offense um, but you know it, it's March you know crazy thing uh, happens and you know we made some big shots at, at, at the end Zay I, I made some free throws Isaac was uh, amazing and you know we, we were able to pull out the win so the Cougs will take on Iowa State tomorrow evening uh, for a chance for the Sweet 16 in Boston. We're going to be heading over to the arena a bit later on this afternoon. One final practice. That's going to be close to the media, but we'll be able to talk to the players and the coaches as they prep for the Cyclones. So it should be a good one. So make sure to follow along on 4 News Now, KXLY Plus, and social media. We'll have your uh, behind-the-scenes look as the Cougs will look to punch their ticket to the Sweet 16 for the second time this century. It's pretty cool opportunity. For now, reporting live in Omaha, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. I woke up this morning and my feed was all Cougs fans. So Good excited stuff. about that win. I hope he gets a nap at some point. Yes. It's a busy, busy next uh, couple of days for sure. It is now 628. This week, a former North Central coach on trial for sexual misconduct with teenagers. One of the victims takes the stand. What she says happens at, is coming up next on Good Morning Northwest. And the clock is ticking for Donald Trump to come up with half a billion dollars. Sidney Charles breaks down what the feds could seize if he can't come up with the cash. Just add. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now Road to the Championship is brought to you by North Idaho Urology. Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. 
Kylie and I know there's a lot of great choices for new and pre-owned cars in North Idaho. And we want Parker Subaru to be your first choice. Not only do we have a great selection of Subarus, we have an award-winning service center, now open seven days a week. Because we are committed to keeping you satisfied long after the purchase. Visit us online at parkersubaru.com or stop by and visit us at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Celebrate the Subaru A Lot to Love event now through April 1st at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Hi, I'm Bruce Schaefer. These are my two sons, Gary and John, and we built this deck. We won't settle for anything less than contractor grade. So we get all of our building materials and supplies from PAR. PAR, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Is your car scratched or damaged after the winter weather? Visit American Way Collision Center to get your vehicle summer ready. With over 60 years of experience, their employees make the quality difference. Come visit American Way Collision Center on Francis. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We kick off this half hour with the 4 News Now story tracker. And today, marking 10 years since the side of a mountain collapsed in Oso, burying an entire neighborhood and killing 43 people. It's the nation's worst landslide disaster. The trauma that engulfed Oso served as a national wake-up call about the dangers of landslides. The state of Washington began hiring more staff and conducting more mapping to get a better handle on the risk and tightened guidelines on logging landslide prone slopes. A new UN report released to mark World Water Day warns that a lack of access to clean water is threatening peace worldwide. It says that water is often a tool and a target when it comes to warfare and regional tensions over water. The report says more than two billion people do not have access to safe drinking water. Nearly one and a half billion people have been affected by droughts between 2002 and 2021. The report concludes that the world does not, is not on track to meet the UN's goal of ensuring everyone has access to safe and clean water by 2030. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Friday, March 22nd. We want to welcome you to town if you are visiting for the NCAA tournament, the P&Q, or whatever. Uh, let's <laughs> check out our forecast with Mark as you're enjoying the weekend with us. Yeah, we're going to have sun and clouds starting our day today. In fact, we get a better picture as the sun starts to think about coming up in about, oh, 15 minutes. Uh, and again, we do have some high, thin clouds out there. It's 42 degrees, winds light. Yesterday, blustery in excess of 20, right now, 8 miles an hour. Four things you need to know. Light rain showers coming in later on this afternoon. We're going to get more potential rain Saturday. It looks like the Palouse is really going to get the lion's share of it. Sunday morning we could see a little light snow, but we're not expecting a, a winter event more so into the mountains. And then wet weather coming in again next week. Uh, right now heading out the door, you're just above freezing in Deer Park. We've got temperatures around 40 all over the place, so it really is a mild start for the most part. Our forecast today, a continuation of fairly dry conditions until we see this moisture from the southwest start to work its way in and we're going to see those scattered showers fire up. So today we're going to be into the mid to upper 50s all afternoon long with a high today of 60 which is 10 degrees above average. A former North Central High School coach accused of sexual misconduct involving two 16-year-old girls is on trial. Andre Irvin is charged with sexual misconduct with a minor, communicating with a minor for immoral purposes, and viewing depictions of a minor engaged in sexually explicit conduct. Now, Irvin sat quietly in court yesterday as one of his accusers testified. She says the incidents happened at NC when she was serving in-school intervention. Irvin was the supervising instructor. She says they 
They passed notes one day and eventually he touched her inappropriately at her desk. She said, quote, he was just kind of facing towards the computer with his hand on my thigh, slowly rubbing. She proceeded to say, he then slowly proceeded to put his hand on my breast, on my right breast. The student also said Irvin took her phone into the bathroom while it was unlocked to look at her nude photos. The trial is set to last through the beginning of next week. We have the breaking now. That's a new update to Donald Trump's financial troubles. Yeah. Despite being in the middle of a presidential campaign, Trump has until Monday to pay nearly half a billion dollars in his civil properties. Oh, unfortunately, we're having some issues with Sydney's microphone. We'll be working on that for you. An escaped maximum security Idaho inmate and his suspected accomplice captured 36 hours after escaping custody Wednesday morning. The police now believe they killed two people while on the run. The Idaho State Police says Skylar Mead, a known member of the Aryan Knights, a white supremacy group, and an alleged accomplice, Nicholas Umfenauer, were caught following a car chase in Twin Falls. This all began Wednesday morning. Meade deliberately injured himself so he would be taken to the hospital. While officers transferred Meade from the hospital back to a maximum security facility, they were attacked in an ambulance bay. Three police officers were shot. Meade and Umfenauer then escaped in a getaway car. Investigators aren't saying much, but they did confirm the first getaway car was recovered in the town of Leland, northeast of Lewiston. ISP is investigating two murders that happened connected to the prison break, one in Nez Perce County, the other in Clearwater County. Police say they connected these two to the murders through a piece of evidence left behind at one of the murder scenes. We did find the shackles at the scene of one of the homicides, so that's uh, one of the ways that we tied them together. Police arrested Mead and Umfenauer short, uh, after a short car chase. Now, this is a complicated string of events. You can read more about them and find new information as soon as we get it. We'll be updating you on KXLY.com. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 636. Keeping our eye on the weekend forecast, Mr. Mark Peterson. Relatively mild, not only today, but we're going to start to see some cooler weather come in, but really for Sunday. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a full check of that forecast coming your way. Oh, hey, you're, you're, he's there, but you just yeah, can't I'm see Yeah, I'm here, him. but there. And, and now there. And after the break, a bill making its way through the Idaho State Capitol to find solutions to the child care crisis. How it could change the law surrounding in-home daycare. Next, as we send you off to a break, here's what's coming up this morning on GMA at 7. In this morning's GMA's first look, what the DOJ lawsuit means for Apple users. For consumers, that has meant fewer choices, higher prices and fees, lower quality smartphones, and less innovation. According to DOJ, Apple uses a variety of illegal methods to maintain its dominance, to try and force you to use the iPhone and its accessories alone, including making it more difficult for iPhone users to text with those who use other brands. As any iPhone user who has ever seen a green text message or received a tiny, grainy video can attest, Apple's anti-competitive conduct also includes making it more difficult for iPhone users to message with users of non-Apple products. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll tell you about how Apple is responding. With your GMA First Look, I'm Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington. get when you can do more with less asthma. It starts with Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Can you picture it? Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixent, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. 
It's time to hoop it up at Mr. Quad Casino Hotel. Score your share of over $22,000 in cash. Play your favorite games now to earn entries to shoot Ooh. hoops for cash. Mr. Quad Casino Hotel. You should Angie that. Angie what? Angie that. It means comparing custom quotes from skilled service professionals or booking at an upfront price so you can find the best price for you. Get started today at Angie.com. I had just turned 37 and I found a lump by the time that I had it checked out and I was able to get in and see a doctor and all that, I'd, I was at stage three. Part of the reason I think that I didn't go get it checked out right away is that I was really scared. When I got the call, it was gone. It was such a huge relief. Even if you don't feel that it's in you, that you have a lump or you have a reason to get checked, you are a woman, get checked. It's that time of year to book your roofing project now before the spring rush hits at McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. And when you purchase a new CertainTeed roof today, you'll get a five-star lifetime material and labor warranty upgrade for free. Man. I can take real good care of you. See? Works perfectly for you, right? At Craig Swap & Associates, we don't get paid until you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. For a limited time, Pape Machinery is blowing out select model year 2023 inventory at dealer cost. Pick up a brand new John Deere compact tractor for a fraction of the original price. Stop by Pape Machinery Ag and Turf today to get started. Joni here. Before you decide on an SUV, I invite you to see and drive the Volkswagen Tiguan. It's impressive and it checks all the boxes. A roomy interior, plenty of cargo space with remote power lift gate. All wheel drive, that's important in the Northwest. Solid performance, modern infotainment system with all the high tech choices. Check out the Tiguan at your nearby Post Falls Volkswagen, the home of 0000. zero, zero, zero. Mr. Quack Casino Hotel is open. Plus, our 4,000 square foot event center will be available for you to book your future meetings or events. Mr. Quack Casino Hotel. Welcome back. The time is now 641. Lawmakers are trying to find solutions to Idaho's child care crisis. One possible solution would be to prevent homeowner associations from banning family daycares. According to Idaho code, a family daycare is in-house child care for six or fewer children. There is a, a real shortage of daycare in our, our community, in our state, and this will allow more people to start small businesses in their homes, maybe stay home with their kids if they want, make a little money. The bill made it out of the Senate with a 34 to 1 vote yesterday. Before the vote, one lawmaker expressed concerns over the state trying to restrict the rights of HOAs to make their own rules. Well, I have an issue with government coming down on private citizens that come to an agreement with an area when they move into a section. However, that being said, I also have a problem with large groups and associations telling an individual property owner what they can do and what they can't do. The bill would only prevent new restrictions, so any existing HOA rules would remain in place. The bill going back to the House now for approval. Upgrades could soon come to Idaho school buildings. State senators are in Boise are in working on passing a group of bills that could provide millions of dollars for school districts to do some repairs. Now, one of the bills would make it so that each school district would receive no less than $100,000 for school facilities, no matter the size of the district. But no district would receive more than $100 million. The bill cleared the House in February, but has stalled in the Senate, with lawmakers saying the current language of some of the bills contradict one another. It's Friday morning, your 10 second takeaway on your screen. It is a cool but not cold start. We don't have a lot of winds out there. That's nice. Light layers though, we could see a few scattered afternoon showers. Our high today, 60 degrees. It is now 6.43 on Friday morning. March Madness kicks off today in the Lilac City and Nelson Martinez is live at the Spokane Arena. We're just hours away from all 12,000 of these seats being filled with fans. We're breaking down everything you need to know if you plan on coming by, coming up on Good Morning Northwest. 
Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Elite Tire and Suspension, your premier tire and suspension shop can do it all. A family business that started right here in the Northwest, building their business and your trust from the ground up. Active in the community and committed to supporting schools and youth programs in the Coeur d'Alene and Sandpoint area. Elite Tire and Suspension, top-notch customer service, the best warranty in town, and easy financing. Their experienced team will keep you safe on the road with correct tires, suspension, and alignment. Call, click, or stop in anytime. Elite Tire and Suspension in Coeur d'Alene and Pend We're standing up for our right to be lazy. We work hard. We deserve to scroll hard. It's the Lazy Boy Anniversary Sale. Save 25% on everything. Lazy Boy. Long live the lazy. It's time to drive the deal. Wendell Ford has tons of vehicles for you to choose from, so it's time to drive the deal. Escape, 0% for 66 months and up to $2,000 in cash. The versatile Mach-E, 0% for 72 months plus $3,000 in bonus cash. Or America's truck, the F-150, 1.9% for 72 months. And this weekend, get an additional $500 on every trade-in. It's time to drive the deal. This weekend at Wendell Ford at the Y on North Division. For News now on the road to the championship. I'm Julian Minnesone, and I'm heading out with the Zags. I'm Alex Crescenti. I'll be with my alma mater, Washington State. Live coverage, behind the scenes access. For News Now, Road to the Championship is sponsored by North Idaho Urology. Support low-income, at-risk youth by investing in their future. Join me, Molly Allen, along with Ken Witter and special guest speaker Levi Horn for the annual Northeast Youth Center's Building Brighter Futures fundraiser. All children deserve a safe place to be a kid. At the Northeast Youth Center, the staff provides a positive, secure, engaging environment for kids to thrive. Join us to learn more about the Northeast Youth Center. Save big on new floors with Empire Today's buy one, get two free sale. Buy floors for one room and get carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate for two more rooms free when you pay for padding and installation. Empire makes flooring easy. See samples in your home, get a free estimate during your appointment, and your floors will be professionally installed. Don't miss Empire's buy one, get two free sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. 4 News Now, Road to the Championship, is brought to you by Northwest Specialty Hospital. Welcome back. The time is now 646. We're taking a live look at the Spokane Veterans Memorial or Memorial Arena. All eyes will be on that basketball court in just a few hours. The NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is in town now for two days. Mm -hmm. Millions of people from all over the country will tune in to watch the first and second rounds of March Madness right here in our city. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is live at the arena sharing what fans need to know before you're going to a game. Robin, Natalie, good morning. It's quiet, it's calm in here now, but things are about to get so very exciting. Just being on this court, seeing the March Madness branding all throughout the arena just puts me in a very excited mood. Now, so many of us, including myself, grew up watching March Madness year after year. And for many locals, this is a special opportunity to see the games unfold right before your eyes. Now, organizations like the Downtown Spokane Partnership and visit Spokane are busy making sure our city is prepared for the national stage. Uh, they keep coming back and they keep choosing us and I think it's a credit to our community. The people who live here are welcoming, they're warm, uh, so just keep doing what you're doing Spokane because people love us. Uh, we always host successful events like this. If you're doing anything in or around downtown Spokane this weekend, you're going to want to be prepared for a very different scene. Here's a few things to keep in mind. The Spokane Arena does, of course, have a clear bag policy. You will be limited to one clear bag, or you can bring a small clutch. When you're considering what to bring, keep in mind that there are plenty of opportunities to buy food and drinks inside the venue. As far as parking goes, it is a busy weekend. You have the Pacific 
Pacific Northwest qualifier for volleyball happening at the podium all weekend long and Spokane Velocity playing on Saturday at one Spokane. Parking will also be more expensive. You might even consider carpooling or even getting dropped off. Now the doors to the Spokane Arena will officially open up to the public at 915 this morning. For any questions you have on the sporting events happening around Spokane this weekend, you can head to our website kxly.com. Reporting live in Spokane, Allison Martinez for News Now. It's going to be filled to the brim with people. Very excited. Soon, very soon. All right. Also very exciting. Mark's forecast. Well, I mean, like here and there. Yeah, it's not exciting. bad. Not bad. I think Spokane's going to be in sort of that comfort zone. We're not mm. going to see a lot of rain, but a few scattered showers. We have sun and clouds right now. 42 degrees currently. The sun is now officially, uh, it has risen. Uh, 60 degrees will be our high today. Clouds, those isolated light showers later on in the afternoon. Tonight, clouds, potential showers. Because that front is passing, we could see an isolated thunder bumper. Now, we look at what's going on around the country, and it's snow and winter into the Great Lakes with a cold air mass over New England to the south, where we see that border of warm and cold air. We do have some severe isolated weather spots there. Into the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast, it's rain, and we're seeing it work its way towards us and losing some steam. So we're going to see, uh, again, Saturday morning, the potential northern cascade, certainly. More snow into the higher elevations. Uh, right now, we're looking at Sandpoint one to two inches, Schweitzer picking up three to four inches. Then this crosses over. We're going to see lookout pass pick up anywhere from three to five inches of snow. But in the lower elevations, it's going to be hit and miss shower activity more prevalent on Saturday than Sunday. We could see some early morning snow Sunday morning, but it'll probably melt us as soon as it hits our overnight low of 34 expected. 60 are high today, 58 in the Coeur d'Alene. We're going to have temperatures cold now or cooler. 50 is our normal high. We're going to have 49 Saturday, but Sunday, that's going to be that day of transition. And then, well, we see more wet weather next week. Hey, we've got more to talk about in our morning sprint. It's coming up next. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? On the hunt for your next ride, come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. Four News Now on the road to the championship. I'm Julian Minnesone, and I'm heading out with the Zags. I'm Alex Crescenti. I'll be with my alma mater, Washington State. Live coverage, behind the scenes access. Four News Now, road to the championship is sponsored by Northwest Specialty Hospital. Born in Roma fragrances and the new Born in Roma green extravaganza, Valentino. Hi, welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda. Thank you. I've been coming to Coeur d'Alene Honda for years and they always treat me just like family here. Our customers love how easy it is to do business with us. We have Hondas that fit everyone's budget. Awarded Dealer of the Year and rated 4.7 on Google. All new Hondas and select pre-owned come with our nationwide lifetime warranty. Plus, all new Hondas come with two years free maintenance. Which Honda would you prefer? Coeur d'Alene Honda with the lifetime warranty at no additional cost to you or the other guys? Don't forget about our lifetime warranty. <laughs> This is a great opportunity to recognize the people who are behind the scenes doing the work. STCU's Volunteers Count showcases people who volunteer. There's just so many people that need so much help. This grant that we just received is going to be such a blessing. This is quite an honor. It will help so many people. Tell us about a volunteer who inspires you. Go to kxly.com slash volunteers count and nominate today. Thanks to STCU and, and News 4 for doing this. It's amazing. It's that time of year to book your roofing project now before the spring rush hits at McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. And when you purchase a new CertainTeed roof today, you'll get a five-star lifetime material and labor warranty upgrade for free. An incredible woman's final moments. A goodbye unlike any other. A message every family needs to hear. How often do you get to do that? Save someone's life. Watch A Gift of Life, Tuesday, only on 4 News Now at 6. 
On the hunt for your next ride? Come to Valley VIP Auto Sales with a wide variety of cars and trucks. We're here to help you find the perfect vehicle. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. Come find your next vehicle at Valley VIP. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Right now it's 6.53 and it's time to get you ready to take on your Friday and the weekend in the morning split. Sprint. Mark Peterson has your forecast on a rainy day expected. But first, the road to the championship continues for several of our local college basketball teams and two of them celebrating some big wins last night. Let's get to Alex Crescenti following the Cougs who squeaked out a nail biter in the late game over Drake last night. Washington State erased an eight-point deficit with less than seven minutes to play to beat the Drake Bulldogs 66-61. to They advance to the round of 32 and will play Iowa State tomorrow night for a chance to go to the Sweet 16. We'll be with the team one final time later this afternoon over at CHI Arena. So make sure to follow along on KXOY, uh, 4 News Now, and social media to make sure you get that behind-the-scenes look at the Cougs' road to the championship. Now I'm going to send it over to Julian Minnesota who's in Salt Lake City with the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Survive in advance is the name of the game in the NCAA tournament and Gonzaga passed with flying colors taking down McNeese State 86 to 65 last night setting up a date with the Kansas Jayhawks on Saturday here in Salt Lake City. Two historic brands and programs in college basketball meet for the first time since 2000 in that season opener in which Gonzaga got the win. Gonzaga is hoping for a repeat performance. If the Bulldogs pull it off they'll be going to a sweet 16 for a ninth straight time. The longest streak in the nation. Well, two more local teams are preparing for tip-off. The Eastern Washington women play in Corvallis today. The Gonzaga women are on their home court tomorrow. And March Madness begins in the Lilac City today. Allison Martinez is live. We are just hours away from the start of March Madness weekend in Spokane. At 9.15 this morning, the Spokane Arena doors will open for 12,000 fans. We're expecting a sold out crowd here. Now parking, of course, will be more complicated and normal security policies like clear bags will be An escaped maximum security Idaho inmate and his suspected accomplice captured 36 hours after escaping custody Wednesday morning. Police now believe they killed two people while on the run. The Idaho State Police says Skyler Mead, a known member of the Aryan Knights, a white supremacy group, and alleged accomplice Nicholas Umfenauer were caught following a car chase in Twin Falls. This began Wednesday morning. Meade deliberately injured himself so he would be taken to the hospital. While officers transferred Meade from the hospital back to a maximum security facility, they were attacked in an ambulance bay in Boise. Three police officers were shot. Meade and Uffenauer then escaped in a getaway car. You can find out how police caught them and why they're being connected to two other deaths under this story on KXLY.com. Police responding to reports of a shooting found a man and woman dead inside their Post Falls home. The shooting happened around 1120 yesterday morning on Moonstone Street near 16th Avenue. The department says based on the initial investigation, it appears to be a murder-suicide. It won't release their names during the investigation. On this Friday morning, we take a look at our first alert weather. And the first alert weather app is free. It's available in the App Store, and you'll be able to track the live radar. And the fact right now, it's a little boring. We are going to see some light showers coming in later on this afternoon. We're not going to see a, a lot of energy there. Uh, right now, we're sitting at about 40 degrees. Our forecast calls for a high today of 60. Former town clerk and city council member have been, has been accused of stealing more than $195,000 from the town of Cusick. According to court documents, Luke Service embezzled the money between October of 2022 and March of 2023. The indictment states Service fraudulently used the mayor's town credit card and his own town credit card to embezzle and transfer the funds from Cusick's bank account into PayPal and cryptocurrency accounts owned by Service and his spouse. 
Controversy over a music flyer from Wilson Elementary. At issue, messaging is considered insensitive in the Wilson Weekly Newsletter. Community members took part in a heated discussion on Wednesday about the newsletter, which asked parents to dress students as slaves and hobos for a music program. Spokane NAACP present. There's more details. On at 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a bonus for me. What can you do with sensitive skin? Okay, what a day. Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser does more than clean. It actually protects skin by keeping it hydrated, so you're always ready for the unexpected. Cetaphil, we do skin, you do you. Slam dunk a deal on 170 new Kias at George Gee Kia. You can't afford to miss this sales event. Score the winning deal with the new 2024 EV6 Wind all-wheel drive for only $335 a month. New 2024 Forte LXS only $199 a month. Now that's a slam dunk. Come visit the George Gee team today in Liberty Lake off I-90 or online anytime at SpokaneKia.com. We're going to see clouds today, but uh, boy, I tell you what, just a few light scattered showers coming in later on this afternoon. A live look at uh, the arena that is going to be packed. Some 12,000 friends and family joining for a little NC2A action. Our high today is going to be 60. Going to be nice if uh, in between games you want to bebop around downtown, check things out. Should be okay for that. Winds are going to be light. Uh, 49 tomorrow, so definitely we'll feel the change. And we're going to have more sustained rain showers for Saturday, Sunday. Looks to be, again, potential for maybe a light snow in the morning, but some scattered afternoon showers. Thanks for tuning in, and good luck to all the teams this weekend. Yeah, I second that. Stick around. We will be here through Good Morning America with live local updates.